This is tutorial number 17, and it covers how to use the Scale Sketch feature within Katia V5. To start off, let's open up a new part file in Katia, and once you've done that, let's go into the sketcher. So click Sketch, and click any of the planes. Now, the Scale feature is found here, and you can also find it if you go to Insert, Operation, Transformation, Scale. Now, what you would want to use this for is if you've already created a profile or a sketch and you need to scale it out by a certain amount. Now you'd want to do this when the profile or sketch is very complicated and you don't want to go through all the math and try to figure out exactly how big the rads are going to be, how far to pull this out and whatnot. With the scale feature, you click on the sketch, tell it how far out you want to scale it, and that's it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a profile, so I'm just going to create a little profile quickly. And this is going to be a profile that it's not one that you'd want to make bigger or smaller because then you'd have to figure out the rad of the circle and just everything else. So by using the scale, you're able to make it smaller or bigger quite easy. So to start off, if you're scaling, you need to know what you want to scale. You can either do the whole profile or one line at a time. So first off, let's just do this one line here. So let's click it, click Scale, and you have the option to duplicate it or to not duplicate it. Right now, I put it to duplicate so you can see the original and the new one. And whichever point you select is going to be where your scale begins. So I'm going to select this point here, and you can see as I pull it out, it gets bigger. As I pull it in, it gets smaller. You're able to either do it by hand by pulling it out and kind of snapping it to other points that you've already determined, or you're able to just scale it. So I'm going to scale it to 5, click enter, and now I have the original plus I have a 5 times the scale to it. I'm going to click control Z and delete that one. Now let's do the entire sketch. So let's highlight the whole thing and let's click scale and we'll click this point here. So this is the point where the scale is going to uh, originate from. And let's make everything 0 0.5. And now you can see that we've scaled this down to 0 0.5. Now let's click Control Z and delete it. And let's do this whole sketch again. And this time we're going to do it at 5. So click this point here to originate. And let's put in 5. And if you zoom out, you can see that we've scaled it up to 5. Now being able to scale back and forth is a very powerful tool because if you create, say, something one-to-one -to, -one to what it's supposed to be, but then someone's asking you for, say, like a prototype part of it that's a third of the size, rather than going and remodeling everything, you're able just to scale something down. So in this case, for the sketch, all you have to do is either scale it up if you need to be bigger or scale it down to make it smaller. So doing this allows you to play around with the scale that you're working on and you don't have to do all the work all over again. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the scale sketch feature within Katia V5.